This is Coda Territory News at 10. Good evening, I'm Shanti Tagger. This is Coda Territory News. Mitt Romney needed it to win in Florida, and he did, now owning all 50 of the state's winner-take-all delegates. Even with the victory, political rivals Newt Gingrich, Rick Santorum, and Ron Paul each vowed to soldier on. ABC's Karen Travers has the latest from Tampa. The Scotts Bluff Public Library is recognized as one of the top libraries in the country after beating out hundreds of other communities. A new ACT pilot test program may open up new opportunities to local high school students. Some high school juniors in Nebraska will be required to take the ACT college entrance exam as part of a three-year experiment by the state legislature. Eight school districts will take part in the program, including Scotts Bluff County. Guidance counselor Gerilyn Donovan says all testing costs will be free for students and the scores can be sent to four different colleges. Lawmakers expect the experiment to cost around $430,000. A new survey reveals excessive drinking is becoming a more pronounced problem in Nebraska. The survey published by the Centers for Disease Control ranks Nebraska number two in the nation for binge drinking. The Midwest ranked highest on the list for binge drinking with Wisconsin ranked number one, North Dakota third, and Iowa came in at sixth. A Scott's Bluff man who was sentenced to six months in jail for shoplifting reportedly heaved a container of water at the judge after his sentence was pronounced yesterday. 28-year-old Philip Enriquez picked up the container that had been sitting on the defense's table and hurled it at Judge James Warden. I guess he was not satisfied. Coming up, some young buckaroos take home trophies at the Black Hill Stock Show and Rodeo. Watch the three-feet-tall cowboys in action. But first, a young mountain lion is homeward bound after finding itself in a tight situation. Hear the big cat story when we return. Rabies vaccinations are good for one year following the first shot and every two years after that. A panhandle mountain lion is released back into the wild after unintentionally being trapped. According to the Nebraska Games and Parks Commission, the 50-pound female was caught in a legal foothold trap in Dawes County. The cougar was tranquilized, given a health inspection, then released. Commission Carnivore Program Manager Sam Wilson says the mountain lion population in the area has been increasing for the past seven years. Today on Wall Street, the Dow is down, but grain futures mostly rise in early trading. Ryan Murphy has a look at the numbers in our market report. Welcome back. New in tonight's family health cast, statins. They're staples in so many medicine cabinets as so many of us try to control cholesterol. But as Helene tells us, women may not be benefiting as much as they should be from statin treatment. They're some of the toughest cowboys and cowgirls around, and most of them are barely three feet tall. Mutton Busters took center stage at the Black Hill Stock Show and Rodeo in Rapid City last night. For these up-and-coming rodeo stars, learning to hang on at any cost is what it takes if they hope to one day make it to the big leagues. Last night, it was three-time champion D'Angelo Garduna of Belfouche, South Dakota, with the long ride. It won him a big trophy and a gift certificate to Toys R Us. The eight-year-old earned a top score of 82 from the judges. Second place went to eight-year-old Tegan Smith of Rapid City with a score of 79. That looks like a lot of fun, tell you the truth.